Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to build a mini golf game. Let's start. Let's start our project named golf. Let's begin with the canvas. So let's drag a canvas from the drawing and animation palette. Let's extrude our canvas. And let's add a ball as the golf ball. Now let's change some properties of the ball. Let's set the paint color to white and change the radius to it. Maybe 10. Let's change the background color to green so it looks like a golf ground. That's it. Let's drag another ball for the hole. It must be bigger than our ball. Let's set the radius to 15. Let's change the speed of the ball to 10. Let's jump to our coding section. We want to flung the ball so let's drag a flung event. When ball flung, let's set the heading to the direction of the flung and speed to flung speed. Let's bounce our ball when edge reached. So let's add a edge reached event and call the ball to bounce. Set the orientation to portrait and hide the title and status bar if needed. Let's check if the ball is bouncing or not. Yes, it's bouncing but there are a lot of bugs to clear. Let's stop our ball when the screen initializes. So let's set the speed to zero. Let's change the z axis because z axis decides the layers of the sprites. You saw that the ball is under the hole, so let's change the layers. The speed of the ball is very low, so let's multiply with 8. And let's rename our ball 1 and ball 2 to golf ball and finish respectively. Let's set the layer of the golf ball to 2 and finish to 1 for working properly. Let's set up the finishing. When the ball collide with others, we want to confirm that the other object is our heart. So add an if statement to check if the condition is true. Also we want to check if the ball is at lower speed. When the ball is at high speed, it want to go to the above of the hole. Ok, when the ball collides with the hole, we want to decrease the speed of the ball and we want to hide the ball. So let's decrease the speed. And let's hide the ball. Ok. 
Also, we want to show the ball when the screen initializes. Decrease the width of the canvas for a reset button. 360 pixels. Oh, sorry, we want to change the height actually. That's enough. Let's drag a button for reset. And let's change some properties. Let me show you. Let's reset our game when the button clicked. Here you go. Let's check it. It works perfectly but the ball is not stopping. So let's decrease the speed. For that drag a clock. and set the interval to 100 milliseconds because the ball is moving the same interval when the clock one timer decrease the speed by 3 Let's check. Looks good. But it's going negative. Let's fix it. So add a condition to check the speed is more than zero. Okay, but it's moving slightly. So let's fix some more. Let me think. But the problem remains same. Okay.
let's delete this one and this one too let's change this value to 0 0.5 sorry 5 also this decreasing value else set the golf ball speed to 0 set the speed to 0 also when the button click let's check got it There is some problem with the reset button and also we want to stop the ball at this speed. So let's fix that. Set the x and y axis of the ball to hold's position. We want to stop the ball at this speed, so let's change the condition to 7, maybe 8 is enough. Okay. Let's check. Got that. But the problem with the reset button remains constant. So we want to fix that too. Okay done. So that's enough for the basics. Let's add some obstacles and some rules in the next video. So subscribe and stay tuned.